Hi guys, it's Katie here again from Bella Creativa. Um, I'm back again to do a video and I just want to say from the outset it's been a minute since I've done a YouTube video so hopefully this will go okay. Um, I will try and be as brief as I can but I've got lots I want to show you today. So I've developed a new set of uh, SVG files for a mini album and I have to say I really love this set. I'm really excited about it and I really want to share it with you. So the set is a set of SVG files and the SVG files are scalable vector graphic files that you can use with electronic cutting machines such as the Cricut, the Brother Scanning Cut and the Silhouette Cameo, those sorts of ones. There's a, a multitude of others that you can use but I think they're the most popular ones on the market. So you can um, grab these files if you're interested from my Etsy store and I will put a link in the description box below so you can head over and have a look at those. I've got lots to show you so let me start by um, with the main set of files but then we have other ones which I'm pretty excited about so I'll show you those in a minute. So the Essentia uh, um, SVG mini album is a set of 27 files and I have done this one a little bit differently because there are so many files. So normally I would um, give you a set of files which are the elements themselves and they're usually in a bluey green colour and then I give you another set of files which are pink and they are the mats to go on them. Because there's so many files I've combined them so that in a file you receive both the mat and the element piece together. So let's have a look and I'll show you. So if you were to download these from my Etsy store, this is what you would get. And I have just made this little booklet and it has these little screenshots in here so I can show you as I'm making an album um, which pieces I've used and they've all got um, alphanumeric labels on them to um, make it easier for me to describe which pieces I'm using. And as a part of the files that you'd receive, you would also get um, a PDF guide. And in that PDF guide are all these um, pictures that I'm referring to. So you could print those out and keep it handy when you're working with the files. So um, here you can see there's this big pink square. And then around the edge is this, this blue um, um, border. That's actually two pieces. Um, I've just put them together on one or in one file to make it easier for you to see. Um, uh, not easier for you to see, but easier for you to download, not so many files to download. So um, in this um, set of SVG files, you will get the cover, which is the blue skinny surround and the mat. Um, one of the exciting parts of this album is that um, I'm giving you the um, the binding and the spines and all the pieces to make um, a two page album, a four page album and a six page album and also to be able to make the album in either a portrait style, style like this or in a landscape style like this so it opens out this way. So you get it essentially you can make a two page album in portrait or landscape, you can make a four page album in portrait or landscape and you can make a six page album in portrait or landscape. You could also just make a folio, um, and a trifold folio or a, a double opening folio um, using all of these pieces. So there's just so much that you can do with these and there's lots of bits to it. So as I say, there's the cover and the mat, which is the same for all of them. They're all the same size. There's three different spines. There's the two page, four page and six page spines and they come in um, the portrait and they also come in the landscape. Then there's the binding pieces themselves and here you can see that the blue piece is the actual element and then the pink pieces on top are the uh, mats for that. So these are the mats that would go in between each of the pages. And I have recorded a video on how to upload these to Cricut Design Space and how to save them as a project to make it easier for you to work with. So I will try and remember to put the link in the little... Um, 
you know, that little bit, the suggested link up the top. I'll try and remember to do that. And so we have the two page binding in a portrait, the two page binding in a landscape, four page binding in the portrait, the four page binding in the landscape. And the six page binding comes in two files. So this one's portrait, it's the second part in portrait, and then there's the landscape. It's the first part of the landscape and the second part of the landscape for the six page binding. Then there's the, oh, look what's happened to my page. That looks a bit manky, doesn't it? It's the printer, it doesn't like me. This is the base page for the portrait and also the pink mats that go on top. And this is the base page for the landscape um, album with the pink mats on top. There are heaps of pockets. So we have um, the first set of long pockets, second set of long pockets. Then we have four sets of um, four short pockets. There's two, th um, three, and four. Then we have um, some narrow pockets. So there's one, two, three and four, then there is a um, file with uh, different belly bands, a waterfall and a corner pocket. There is a file of envelope flips and the mats for those and they will all fit uh, the long pockets, the short pockets and the two different types of narrow pockets there so that you can use the pockets, um, cut some of the tabs off and make them into um, envelopes. And then we have the um, accordion pocket or envelope and there's two part two files for that one and then lastly I have included the insert for the side pocket so they're all of the files for the Essentia um, a couple of things I should say um, aside from the different um, sizes that you can make is that the pockets come with tabs on all four sides so what um, we do is um, cut off the tabs that we don't need um, and then so if I wanted to make this a long pocket with a side opening I'd cut off uh, that tab but the reason that I've done it like that is so that you can use that piece for a flip if you wanted to you could use it as a pocket from the top and you could make this a really long skinny pocket if you wanted to it's a bit of a funny example but the idea is that each of the pieces themselves are really versatile i really like the idea of being able to make an, um, a set of svg files that are super versatile so in this instance you can make a portrait album you can make a landscape album you can make it in two pages four pages and six pages you can um, use the individual pieces in different ways um, and create your own page layouts using those pieces and they've all been measured for you they've already been um, your cutting machine will cut them for you and if it has a scoring um, component it will have done all the scoring for you as well so um, that's another beauty of SVG files but the other thing is that you can resize the elements themselves to make them bigger or smaller. You could put all of the elements or all of the files on one project and then um, expand them or decrease them so that you can make a larger album or a smaller album. And I've shown you um, some examples of that in one of the other albums that I did, The Brodery, where I've made a really big desk organiser, a, a six by six album, and then a tiny little three by three album or four by four album. Um, so, you know, you can do the same thing with these. So, um, normally I have got um, lots of examples for you, but because these are so versatile and you can make so many, I just couldn't make them all. Um, I've made one six page album which I'll give you a quick look at and then I thought we would work our way through and make some together. So that's the Essentia album but the exciting thing I want to show you is that also available are these different styles of pockets. So all of these pockets are exactly the same as what you get in this album um, in the Essentia pack. So you can make an album out of this Essentia pack and you don't need any of this, don't need it at all. 
this is just if you feel like you want to do something a bit more exciting a bit different um, so in this um, album we have all of these pockets we have long pockets um, we have short pockets and we have a whole bunch of narrow pockets we've got belly bands and waterfalls envelope flipped and envelope flips and all those sorts of things all of those in exactly the same size are available here but it's just the pockets you can't make an album with this alone you need you do need this album and then if you choose you can add these things on so these are like add-ons they're just the pockets there's no base pages in here no spines that sort of thing but let me show you the pockets this one here is called flourish and here's an example of this it's a window pocket so you could cut this one out and you could um, and instead of having a mat sitting on top like we would traditionally do you can put a mat underneath so that could be your pattern paper that could be acetate it could be um, a specialty paper like a foil or um, you could put vellum behind it you anything that you can think of you could put behind there and it would look sensational i believe and so this one um, this design here is called flourish and as you can see you get all the same pockets here as you do in here but these ones are the fancy have the fancy windows so as i say you can make an album out of this and i have made one and i'll show you in a second but um, you also have the option of adding in um, pockets like this and you don't wouldn't have to use every single pocket but I've made every single pocket for you so you have lots and lots of choices so this one's called flourish and we again we have the long pockets and in this instance I've put the mats underneath so you can see the the pattern so we have the two different sorts of um, two files full of long pockets we have three files of short pockets that you can see here um, the narrow pockets, there's four files of the narrow pockets. There's also the corner pocket, the waterfall and belly bands and the mats for those. And also the envelope flips so that you can um, have some really fancy little envelope flips in there. So that one's called the Flourish and that's what this one looks like. I think it's gorgeous. I really love that. I think it looks so nice because if you, you have this really nice paper or you know you put your photo in there but you, you can't necessarily see it so I love the idea that of putting um, an acetate or you know clear plastic or something underneath that so this really pops off the page um, and but the other thing I think would look fantastic is um, the metallic foil papers or something like that and we're going to do that in the first album that we make so this that one's flourish this one here is called Stars. I, as you can say, I can. I was. <laughs> I thought long and hard about what to call this album itself, Essentia. Um, I like to use, you know, different languages, just for something different. Um, so I thought long and hard about the title for this one. Then I, I kind of lost my mojo. <laughs> so we've got Flourish, and then we have Stars. So let me show you what Stars looks like. It looks like this one. Of course, I've cut this out of black cardstock, but you could cut it out of um, any coloured cardstock that you like. Again, this has the um, tabs all the way around it, but you would just cut off the, the tab that you didn't want to use, that you didn't need. Cut off the tabs you don't need. So that could be a long pocket. Um, if you're doing the landscape, it would be a bottom pocket. Um, you could it could be a flip out on the side. Um, so yeah so that's the stars again you get the long pockets the short pockets the narrow pockets the belly bands and waterfall and the corner pocket and the envelope flips and that's in the star design and then the last one is called quatrefoil and that's what this one looks like and um, again you get the um, quatrefoil in the long pockets the short pockets the narrow pockets and there's the narrow pockets the belly bands and waterfall 
um, and the corner pocket and the envelope flips. So these, so that's the quatrefoil, the stars and the flourish. They're the first three that I've released. I'm working on some different designs at the same time so that you know there's there'd be lots of choices so you could use one main album set the Essentia to make a landscape or a portrait album in a two four or six page and then you could make it differently with all sorts of different add-on sets like that I'm also working on some some boxes and things like that that um, you could put the albums in as well so that it would fit in here so um, I'll just say one more time though, you don't need to purchase these to make the album, you only need this. These are just add-ons, so you couldn't make a whole album with this, you just get the pockets, but you can make a whole album with that. These are just um, nice to have something, if you feel like making something different or doing something different. And um, as, I, as I create new ones of these, I'll let you know. But let me show you an Essentia album without any add-on pockets. Um, this is my prototype. Um, it's a six-page one. Um, I should measure it for you. Okay, it is just over 10 inches. So she's a big girl, um, which is 26 centimetres. And that's the length this way. And then this way it is just over eight and a half inches, which is 22 centimeters in width. And then the spine is, well, it is about 11 centimeters, which is um, four and two eight, just over four inches. I, I'm not very good at inches, so it's always just over or just under. <laughs> <laughs> but um, centimeters I can do, all right? So it's 11 centimeters. Okay, so this is the big six page album. Of course, we can, I'm going to start doing a two page album um, video series soon so you can see um, that you can make really quick albums with this as well. It doesn't have to be this big one. So this is the, obviously the portrait size. The um, paper line that I've used here is actually an Etsy download and I'll try and remember to put the link down below because I can't remember what it's called. I can't, I just, my mind is blank. Um, and, but she's loud, this girl, she's loud, she's a big loud girl because there's lots of stripes and polka dots and things. So let me show you what she looks like. So this is an example of some of the layouts that we can do. So I've just put a, um, a, a standard pocket in here and um, from the SVG files, everything in here I've made with the SVG files except the plain old um, inserts and I also had these Polaroids floating around and I thought that the black and white worked well with this so I've put them in here. You could easily make something like that yourself, in fact I think I will because I, I really love just the basic Polaroid look, I think they just... Yeah, I don't know, I like it. I don't, who knows why, but I think it's awesome. The, t the um, inserts and tags, in previous albums I've included some of those um, as a part of the um, set, but this time I haven't. The only inserts that I've included are the side pocket inserts, these big ones here, and that's because you really need to know what size they can be to fit in there. So I have included those, something grotty on there. So that just goes, I've included those, but all of these I haven't because if you're anything like me, I just like to use what I've got left or what fits with my, um, fits well with my picture, my, my photo that I want to put in here. So in this instance, I've just used my leftover pieces of paper and leftover pieces of card to make tags. So I haven't, um, I haven't included any inserts or, or tags in here except for that side pocket. But this little guy is um, from the SVG um, files. So this is just like um, an envelope or a wallet that pulls out. 
and I've just matted that with some plain paper and a bit of washi um, and that one is just sits in here Got those two guys there and then here's just another little tag and one of these little guys we've got a pocket here and then a pocket in the side here with um, an insert I'm pretty lazy I never back them my inserts and tags okay so that little guy opens out this way oops I didn't get it in the pocket there we go and then on the back again I have just another plain pocket with a couple of inserts uh, on this side here I have this long skinny pocket so that is actually uh, an example is I could have used the flourish pocket here and had my design paper underneath and maybe the stripes or something like or just plain white even might have looked really nice or pink just a plain um, paper under there would have looked great but that is that skinny long pocket and this is an example of that skinny long pocket in the add-ons and that's the flourish so then I have this insert here which is um, like a, it's like a waterfall insert so it opens up this way and you can put the photos here but then each one of these also pulls out I hope you can see it all and you have plenty of lots of room there for photos so that one um, is one of the inserts and then this guy flips out here and we have just a simple corner pocket here with a couple of inserts and you know there's lots of room in there you could get quite a lot in there then this is um, a sort of a deconstructed envelope so it opens out like so and you can put photos here and here and that closes up and then on here we've got all sorts of things going on here we have a side pocket and that's oh, what's that there we go really big um, side pocket there so that just slides in there and these are just examples of um, page layouts you can do that's just the first page um, and we'll do some of these but there's many more ways that you could um, lay out the pages using these um, um, SVG files. Excuse me, I think I'm going to cough. Alright, sorry. Okay, so on this page I have a little envelope that um, I made using the Essencia SVG files. It just opens up like so. Um, I have to say that uh, I printed this on 100 GSM paper and it's quite, it's quite shiny, it's quite um, glossy and well, I found that the, the black ink has come off a little bit so you know luckily this is just my prototype um, but you know that's just worth bearing in mind. I have had much better success using um, a different kind of paper and I'll tell you about that later but I get sidetracked. So that little guy there just slips into this pocket here and it holds this top um, tab flap from flip from flapping flapping from flipping <laughs> okay so then this um, flips up the ways like so and then this guy flips down like so and then we have this guy that flips out. We have another one of those narrow pockets here with just one of those polaroids. And then this big expanse here where you could do whatever you like. Um, of course, I could have put something here. I could have put a belly band this way. I could have put a belly band this way. I could have put a corner pocket. I could have put a bottom pocket. I could have put side pockets of varying sizes. There's so many options, um, but I've just left it there. So that's that page that closes up like that okay so this looks like a um, it looks like a, your standard sort of double doors but it opens out the ways like this and then I guess it's sort of a bit like a I don't know what do you call this when when they open up each way like so I don't know <laughs> but that's what it does Okay, so then we have a belly band with a couple of inserts in there as well. But these all have uh, the capacity to put quite a few photos in here. So then they just close up again 
and there's all that space there and then it just tucks neatly behind those doors and then there's another side insert here and again it's got something grotty on it that's the thing about using the white um so here i've just yeah i've just used the white paper and then i've just put a strip of this um glitter washi down the side so that just slides in like so so these are just examples and I'm probably going a bit slow but I just wanted you to see all the different things that we can do Oop, I've got things stuck together here okay and this is the next page so we have this little flip out here it's got a little pocket with a couple of things in here so it'd be a great spot place to put your little photos in there um, and that flips open and this larger one also has a little pocket here so you can put some things in there and that flips out and we have these sort of um, stoppers so you can put um, photos in here and again we have a long skinny pocket um, and this is an insert that I've made using SVG files and it's just like a folder and um, there's some of those corner pockets like a little wallet and that just slides in here um, here is um, a half pocket page so that has an insert one of the full size side pocket inserts in there but we have just used a short pocket so that goes in like so and then on this page these guys flip out to the side and then I have just done a bit of a cut out from the um, paper itself and then just use that as a little tuck spot and then we have another side insert so that is the third page here we have another one of those long skinny pockets holding these two um, inserts here which is holding this flip closed so if I pull this out then this guy can flip around okay so that comes out and we have an insert up the top of this one and that flips out there's also an insert in here but I haven't put anything in there but you could most definitely put something in there like so and then you open it out there's a spot here photos and again I've just done a little tuck spot using that cut out from the paper okay so that closes up and that closes up and then these guys slide in and keep that all closed traditional waterfall these will take six by four photos I've just used velcro I've ordered some magnets um, and I've been waiting for a long time for them to come so just your standard waterfall again not happy with the way this printing has worked but as I say this is my this is my prototype so all is not lost another side insert and on this page these little guys um, open up this way and then they uh, flip out like so and the same on this side, opens up and flips down like so, nice to open and then this guy opens out and then you have this big page here and so they close up like so. This is like um, an envelope sort of uh, closure so this opens up we have this flip here and then this half page that um, I've just done a little um, tuck spot a couple of things in there and then that one opens up there's another spot there for photos and then we have a corner pocket here with a couple of inserts in there so each page itself has got masses of opportunities for photos and then we have a side pocket insert there as well this page again I've used the um, tag um, to hold everything in place with this long pocket so that comes out and then we have this teensy pocket at the front that can hold a teensy photo and that flips out and I've just put a little bit of something here as a um, as an ins um, like a belly band put a little tag <coughs> in there excuse me just another little flip out and then in this pocket here we have something um, just one of those Polaroids so of course you can put photos and things in there so that all flips closed and then this tag holds it all in place 
This is page of envelopes. So with these guys little envelopes here and they flip out. And then you have some long envelopes here um, that you can put things in. So this would be really good for, you know, the photo booths where you get the long strips. You could definitely put those in here. Or if you used um, um, a die cut or a, a cut out of um, slides that, and they could go in there. So there's that. So and then they open up and then you also have this big area here for a big photo. So they all close up like so, and then you have the side insert again. I don't know, it looks like I've really been bashing this about. It's got little pieces on everywhere. Another little envelope, so it opens up, and I was supposed to um, glue that down, but I haven't. <laughs> so you can either have it as a, an envelope, like so, or you could cut the tags off the tabs off the side, and it could be one of the uh, like a deconstructed envelope, um, whatever you choose. And then that guy flips out. I've just used a little cut out die cut here to hold a picture. Again, I've just used this as a sort of a belly band for this little guy, and then that flips out. I've done the same one here, a corner pocket, and then a couple of inserts there. So, but kind of cute and then and the inside that cover is the accordion envelope or accordion pocket and that just opens up like so got heaps of room in there with the credenza and so I've just used one of these um, closures and then there is a pocket behind there so that you can put some things in there as well if you need to so that is an example of the Essentia mini album and that's just using the, oops, oh I should say this little envelope on the front here as well that I've made using, um, I didn't use any cardstock, I just used the paper itself and that's just sort of a little decorative thing on the front there. It's a pretty loud album so I was trying to be a little less loud <laughs> on the front. And then I've just used the quatrefoil style paper on the front and back. So that's that one. So that's the Essentia album. One of the types of Essentia albums that you can make using this here. What have I just done? I'll put a bit more glue on there. Using just these files. I haven't used any of the add-ons. But you can see where the opportunities would be to use the add-ons. Because they come in... A huge um, every every um, pocket that you have in here you also get in one of these guys as well so that's why I've been so busy because I, I feel like I've created a lot of products um, a lot of opportunities for using a basic um, album um, style if you like but then being able to make it something different every single time by making it a, a a, a small album or a large album or a portrait or a landscape but then also being able to include each of these different types of um, pockets in there just for something different and as I say there'll be more coming soon so thanks very much for bearing with me I'm sorry um, if this was really long-winded but I just I can't think of a better way to show you than than like this so Thanks for bearing with me and if you're still here, um, thank you for what, making it to the end. These will all be available in my Etsy store and I am about to start filming a series on a two-page landscape album. That's why we'll start first and I'm going to use the Quatrefoil add-on pockets and um, we'll see where we go from there. So thanks very much for joining me today. Um, Love it if you stuck around and watched some of the series and I'll see you guys soon. Take care everybody. Bye.